sharpening with an iPhone. Uh, I'm not, uh, I, I've sharpened this knife a little bit. I'm still not totally happy with it, and I think basically what I want to do is start over. But I want to take this out of my Pro Scope here quick and show you what I mean. I'm going to put it back in the holder because it's a non slip. Shell, there we are. All right, so previously when I would sharpen knives, I would I would hold the blade here and bring bring the stone over. Uh, actually, I, the the knife would be held at the angle this way. I had this little device that I made that used rare earth magnets, and, it would, and then I'd, I'd put uh, pins in these holes to keep the blade uh, reasonably parallel. So I'd probably use this one and this one, and then I'd bring the stone, I'd, I'd uh, level up the stone, and because this is at 20 degrees, then my my uh, my uh, abrading angle would be proper, you know, or consistent. So, but the problem with that is the smaller the knife got, the less tension you had there. The other thing is you'd still have to, you know, this would be clamped down, you'd still have to hold the knife with your hand and steady it, you know, to keep it from moving around on you. So it kind of dawned on me that you know, every hand, every knife has got a handle, and if you can clamp it by the handle and make sure this is reasonably uh, horizontal, the next thing to do is to make sure that this is consistent, uh, consistently horizontal as well. So uh, the iPhone has got an app that I recently discovered. Let me get rid of this. There it is. Hang on a second. I want to get rid of the photo. There we are. So it's called Angle Meter. And it works uh, either with your phone in this direction or this direction. You will get the two angles. So when I set this on my knife, I want to balance it on I want to balance it on this edge here. There's a flat up here, then a beveled edge here, and then your your cutting bevel. So I want to balance it on that uh, bevel there. And I find out that, that that angle is about five degrees. So in order for my uh, cutting angle to be 20 degrees, I need to have this set at 25 degrees. So when I put that on there, and then I just move my backrest forward until I reach that angle, which is right about right there. There's 25. Okay, it kind of bounces around, but I'm gonna I'm gonna settle on that and be in 25. Okay, so now I can go to work on this edge this side knowing that my stones are cutting at 25 degrees went through all four grits Took about uh, 25 minutes, and that baby feels razor sharp. I'm going to inspect it with my Pro Scope here to see if uh, there might be something I missed. But uh, we'll come back. We'll do the old paper test on it, I guess. Let me just see if you can see this.
It looks like a nice edge. I'll check the other side here. I'd say that's pretty good. For an old hunting knife. I mean, about all I want that thing to do is cut open boxes and do other stuff like that. Bags. So, there you have it. That's how I sharpen my knives. Uh, kitchen knives anything like that and it it works pretty well I mean it's not perfect but it does produce a pretty nice edge so sharpening with the tools I already have a uh, Jorgensen clamp some aluminum extrusion, a little riser block, some Festool clamps to clamp these to the bench and that block to the extrusion. And then these stones were from uh, DMT. Uh, I think a set of four was like a uh, hundred bucks. And this is nothing more than a wooden block um, with a couple dados cut in it to accept these and then I um, made it just a little thinner than the width of these stones which I believe is one inch and then clamped clamped them in there with this uh, uh, piece of maple this is all hard maple I believe and uh, it works right I mean you can see what I did here so kind of a homemade solution for kitchen knives and uh, hunting knives, one, any kind of knife I guess that you can hold a handle with in the jaws of a Jorgensen clamp. So there you are. Thanks for watching.